Okay. This conference will now be recorded. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So this is a maintain number ranges. Number ranges means nothing but when the employee is hiring to in a uh, organization. So that will be generated one uh, number. Uh, you know, when first time uh, employees hiring into the company, given one number that is uh, called employee number. So that employee numbers, how to generate the employee numbers? OK, so that we'll discuss and uh, integration of personal administration with organizational management. So personal administration is different. Organizational management is different. So both uh, both, you know, both can be you know, both how to integrate in the system, how to, you know, uh, assign this board data to the employee. So so we'll discuss on that, how to integrate the personal administration to the organizational management. OK, then uh, and uh, overview scenarios with respect of different countries and exercise of uh, hiring personal display uh, displays and maintenance. So this we'll discuss in uh, under the personal administration uh, module. So have you any doubts? And now once we will go into the depth, we can ask your doubts. <laughs> yeah, OK. OK. Yeah, OK. So next. Uh, I think it's hang up. Next, we'll come to the time management. So first we'll discuss enterprise structures and personal structures. After structures, we'll go for organizational management. And after that, personal administration. After the personal administration module, we'll discuss about the time management. Here in a time management, uh, uh, time management is depends on the employee groups, employee groups. So we'll discuss about the employee groups in personal administration itself. We'll uh, not discuss with the uh, in personal structure. We'll discuss about the employee groups and uh, here in time management, how we'll use that employee groups for the time related data. And uh, holiday calendars. So how many holidays uh, uh, have for that current uh, year will create the holiday calendars uh, and holidays and holiday calendars then period work schedules and after that uh, work schedules and after that we will uh, we'll generate the work schedules. So in between we will we'll have a daily work schedules. So here uh, work schedules we will use the daily work schedules and period work schedules. Then we will generate for the work schedule rules how to generate the work schedules uh, manually and batch. So manually means uh, the user can generate uh, uh, for every year. So in some clients they will generate uh, uh, the work schedules for two years or three years okay so these things and after that uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll configure for the different absence types so there are uh, absence types are uh, different like you know we have casual leaves and we have a sick leaves maternity leave paternity leave and uh, you know so as per the requirement of uh, uh, business We'll configure those options. Okay. So then uh, absence quotas. So absence quotas is the entitlements which has given to the employer to employee per year. It some people will give 20 holidays, or uh, uh, some people will give 24 holidays. So it depends on the uh, client to client. So that will create how to calculate the uh, you know absences and uh, you know deduction from the uh, absence quotas so when the employee has for example for the year uh, employee has given uh, 20 absences 20 absences as a quota so for sick leave oh, sorry for casual leave so casual leave so when the employee has taken one leave that will be deducted from his quotas so then remaining is 19. How this will be absence quotas has to be generated. And after that, how uh, absence quotas has integrated, uh, you know, uh, integrated with the absences, how it will be calculations will be works. That we'll discuss. Okay. In the same manner, attendance. So attendance and uh, entitlements and quota rules and uh, generation of quotas and uh, maintenance of futures 
and uh, counting rules, uh, deduction rules and selection in what basis the absence has to be detected from the quota. Okay, so that we'll discuss. So rules will will discuss and selection rules also will discuss and uh, time management schemas or you have time management schemas. So we'll go all these things. So this is about the time management. What uh, in time management? What are the sub modules we are going to discuss? These are the things. So any doubts? Can I go for next one? Yes. Then come to the payroll. So, so payroll uh, in a payroll, uh, we'll configure the payroll areas and payroll sub areas and uh, control records and uh, generation of the payroll periods, absence valuations, time time wage type valuations, pay scale structures, wage type configurations, indirect valuation concepts, eleven cents groupings and payroll status, payroll process overviews, deduction and info type maintenance. These are all uh, related to the employee master data and payroll. Okay, so here absence valuation comes to the, for example, uh, I'll come for first. So configuration of payroll area. So payroll area means it's a, you know, a group of employees payroll is run at the same time, for example, as a salaried employees, salaried employees who are working as a salaried employees in for that organization. So those are all come to one area. So who are working for the semi monthly, those will come to the one area. So for each each payroll area has a different dates to pay, uh, run the payroll. Okay, for salaried employees will run for the, uh, you know, every uh, you know, 30 days. But when come to the semi monthly will run for the every 15 days and control records control records will be played and a huge role here uh, the control record is you know uh, maintain the master data and uh, while running the payroll that control record stops the you know payroll uh, you know updations you know master data updations because payroll will be depends on the master data so once you keeping uh, keep on changing the master data that will be effect on your payroll so there will be a cut off dates for the payroll master data changes so that will be taken care by the control record okay so generation of payroll periods so for uh, every country have a different uh, you know uh, financial years for india it will be march to april for us january to december and uh, mostly other countries uh, have a, uh, western countries have a january to uh, february for a few countries have a different uh, some countries uh, july to uh, june so those are the countries are there so based on the countries we will generate the payroll periods okay then absence valuations if you have any uh, absences for unpaid absences, how that unpaid absence will uh, un unpaid absence has to detect from the payroll, employee payroll. So in employee remuneration, so if you are taken uh, two days as an unpaid absence, that will be detected from the his salary. So how to you know handle the absence valuations and time management valuations. So if you have the employee has a overtime, then how the overtime you know uh, uh amounts are deal with the time waste types so overtime is a time waste uh, time waste type so how that will be you uh, know deal with in a payroll okay so that we'll discuss and uh, pay scale structure configuration this is a pay scale structure configuration uh, there will be a groups you know senior level managers and junior level managers and junior executives senior executives i know uh, for the each and every uh, you know group have some you know uh, pay scale ranges based on the pay scale ranges uh, based on their group uh, the employees employees will get their uh, remuneration so that we'll discuss and uh, then wage type configurations what are the wage types there are wages what wages uh, uh, whatever the work has done by the employee for that what is the remuneration is getting that is a wage so there are a couple of wage types we have uh, for example basic uh, pay convenience and house rent and uh, so there are a lot of leave uh, travel allowances and leave allowances so there are a couple of wage types how we have to configure the config uh, wage types and how those will be deal in the payroll that we'll discuss so 
then indirect evaluations some for example this uh, convenience and uh, housing uh, housing rent uh, these both are uh, indirect evaluations so whatever the uh, amount as there uh, here 3750 that is indirect here you are seeing ii ii transfer it is a indirect evaluation so the amount has come here for these various steps are based on other uh, you know like in a basic pay so then on the basic pay there is a percentage will be indirectly calculated on the basic pay and that uh, amount will be moved to the uh, respective wage types okay clear any doubt okay so then allowances groupings and uh, uh, payroll starters and allowances grouping is nothing but uh, it will be come to the payroll uh, structures for that you know for that uh, group what are the allowances will be applicable with uh, uh, other uh, allowances will not be uh, you know uh, will not uh, you know applicable for that uh, employee groups so that we'll discuss and payroll status employee pay, uh, payroll status whether the payroll status here it is release for the payroll or release for the correction exit the payroll and check the payroll return uh, results those are all the you know status of the uh, payroll and the payroll process overviews and deductions so deductions what are the deductions are there like you know pf uh, professional tax and uh, uh, tax so those are all uh, deductions if employee has taken any loans uh, the interest will be deducted from the employee you know uh, from the you know gross so those things will be discussed and info types uh, what are the info types for uh, uh, payroll each uh, country have different info types okay so that can be maintained uh, during the um, you know master data maintenance after that we'll go for that payroll so these are the you know payroll data prospectives and uh, when you go for this then it is discuss about the payroll calculations how the payroll calculations will happen in the back end so what are the tax calculations how the tax uh, have calculated and uh, pro what is the processing classes and what is the accumulation classes what is the evaluation classes what is the payroll schema so each country have its own uh, you know uh, payroll schema because each country have a different uh, legislations different taxation rules so uh, whatever the india have the taxation rules the us have a different taxation rules because based on the religions and regions so this will be effect on that country's uh, you know uh, employee uh, taxations or employee wages so that we'll discuss and uh, what is the payroll uh, schema we'll discuss and uh, in the payroll schema what are how the payroll will be deal in uh, in the schema and uh, what are the processing classes what is the processing class uh, uh, processing rules so how to uh, you know create a rule and uh, this is a rule processing pcr uh, personal calculation rule so for for a business uh, uh, for the business case so how to write a, a pcr that we'll discuss and uh, how to that include in your payroll uh, based on uh, for which uh, wage and uh, what is the process for the wage and uh, finally what is the result and uh, how to write the pcr so that we'll discuss after this we'll go for the payroll postings so how to posting to the fi so finally the payroll uh, you know uh, hr will run the payroll but the payment will be done by the fi not for the hr department so once you run the payroll the payroll results will be moved to the push to the finance department once finance department will uh, uh, give the approval then uh, it will be paid to the employee so we'll discuss how this payroll results will be pushed to the finance okay clear this variation of payroll with the respective countries or you of us and india so india will discuss and uh, then how i'll explain you how you know other countries uh, payroll will be you know how can we deal once you learn the one payroll uh, when one payroll process and uh, you know how to deal with the schemas and how to deal with the uh, pcrs for example so uh, you have a, a schema like xt000 it deals with the time management it deals with the time management in time management what you have you will have a work schedules you have absences you have attendances you have uh, incentive wages you have uh, 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 overtime wages and these are all these so this is called xt00 xt stands for x stands for it is international 
so when you come to the india int 00 so it this is for only indian indian time management when you have ut00 it is for us it is for us time management in your us time management so how the overtime will be calculated in india how the overtime will be calculated so for the overtime incentives all these will be similar but when come to the taxation there will be a different taxation for india and for uh, uh us in india we will have a uh, you know um, pf uh, there they will call as a benefits so here we will have a uh, p taxes professional taxes there will be having a different naming and uh, they will uh, they they have some other like you know county uh, county federal and uh, uh, county fe uh, county federal and state but in in india only we will calculate only as a federal only for you know central but for the states will be calculated only p tax that is called professional tax only 200 200 is highest for uh, mumbai they will uh, they will uh, you know collect only uh, 80 rupees or something so those are the difference only that is for uh, taxation will go for the from the employee side to the state but in uh, us there is a different calculations okay clear so these are the differences we have to know and uh, there will be a different uh, info types so we'll go for there and we have to maintain the info type that we'll discuss okay clear so this is a payroll module completely this is a process of how to uh, you know process the payroll and up to postings these are the pcrs this is a schema and uh, this is a, a fi document how to uh, you know post from the uh, payroll from the uh, hr module to finance module okay so this is uh, for the payroll and uh, have any doubts can i move to next one yes so all are uh, following me or uh... yes yes you can continue okay so next one is so my last slide which is uh, now how to integrate uh, how to integrate uh, you know uh, from uh, success factor or workday or anything to the ecc mod uh, ecc okay erp ecc so so this is the you know uh, chart here employee from the employee central is a, uh, a sf uh, module here how we have a personal administration uh, in success factor it is called employee central and uh, employee data organizational assignment enterprise structures and positions jobs and uh, this will be moved to the uh, sap erp core hr so there uh, this will be used uh, the payroll when the payroll uh, is running in uh, uh, ERP, SAP ERP, then all the data is maintaining in employee central success factor, then the master data is required for the run the payroll. For in this case, the data will be replicated from the employee central to ERP. So this will also uh, will discuss in my class. So success factor, so ERP, SAP, HCM, employee organizational data and time of replications. Uh, with success factor being a source for employee and uh, organization how this will be configured and uh, you know how to map the fields from the employee central to um, uh, sap sap data sap uh, info type fields so that we'll discuss with this i have completed my uh, you know ppt if you have any uh, questions so please uh, you know ask me so I, I went a little fast because uh, has taken much time. So if you have any doubts, please ask me. Uh, tomorrow class uh, will be what time? Uh, that you have to decide which, you know, all people are, you know, uh, convenient time. So for my timings, uh, uh, evening uh, 8 to okay and morning uh, morning up to 6 to 9 I am available 
evening morning eight. we have to choose after eight huh? if you choose morning also for me okay but before nine before it will nine. not be possible for us before nine right <laughs> Uh, then yeah, evening eight. Because six to nine is very, I mean, we'll be like running race yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yes, yes, for me also, for me also, <laughs> not for you. <laughs> not for you. Yeah. <laughs> in yes. the night, you'll be available only after eight o'clock? Yeah, eight to, eight to ten, mostly. Hello, what do you think of? Okay, we can choose eight to nine, right? Yeah, I think it will be fine because in the morning it is not at all possible. Mm. And nine to ten also will be late. We can't yeah, extend and we have any time. doubt. Yes. Mm. Okay, meanwhile, so in afternoon I cannot, I cannot give the time. But uh, Saturday, Sundays, so whatever time you want, uh, you know, I can. So mostly we'll go for 11 or something, you know, Saturday, Sundays. We will discuss yeah, more Saturday, hours. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 11. 11 so we, 10 to yeah, 11 is for okay. me. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. mostly Saturday, Sundays, I'll give that time only because, you know, evenings I will have a works. So that's what. Yes. <laughs> so Saturday, Sundays, you know, if more we can discuss uh, 10 to 11 or 10 to 12. So... Uh, you know, hmm. we can cover uh, you know, more uh, time there. Yeah. Will we be able to send the notes that you have told, I mean, through WhatsApp? Uh, notes, uh, notes, whatever. I have a notes. I have a couple of notes. I will send this. You because have it will read. be easy for us, right? Rather than listening. Yes. I mean, listening is also okay, but if we you know, read also... Best... For best le uh, learner is you know uh, you know while uh, you know listening lecture itself have to write some right yeah Important that is point. fine actually <laughs> what yeah. is happening is when you are telling when we are writing we are missing what you are telling next actually as I'm actually no no I'll go very you know I'll go very slow there you know you don't uh, have fun that uh, you know I'm I will not a you know I'll, I'm not a guy to rush I know you know complete yeah. uh, like this. So for me, it takes uh, time. So because uh, you know, I know I'm interested to you know explain more things about uh, any uh, topic or subject. So if people will say, you know, uh, some institutes will say, you know, sir, you are going for long, you know, like taking 40, 50, 45 days, something. They'll uh, agree with you uh, like uh, 30 days. So based on you know interest, if people have interest, and in it, it will go for uh, long. So if people yeah. are not interested, you know, sometimes we cannot help. <laughs> yeah, actually, we are interested. <laughs> I think everyone. So, if you are interested, you will get uh, more, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, topics from me. But that depends on you. Yeah, even uh, what I was about to say is for practicing. Also, if you give like practice this and all this data, that, that yes, that also... that that will I will give you every every you know every module every you know topic uh, you know I'll explain how to do this how to you know practice this I'll give. You. Yes. So based on that only you will go. Yeah. So whatever the notes I will have, I'll uh, share with you people. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, if you want more, you can get it uh, from you know, like you know, from Google Tally. Yeah, Google Tally is there always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Google Tally is like we have vast. I mean, very much data wherein we'll get confused what to choose, what not to choose. Yes, that is that 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 is there. That if is you there. look more, we'll get confused what to choose and what not to choose. That is the main problem yes. that Google tell you. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, thing yes. is, we just don't want to no, waste what? our time more. Yeah, yes. more confusing. Whatever we are learning, we'll forget. I think with that Google tell you. If yes, you look yes. more. And uh, people will confuse uh, yeah. there. You know, I know, I know. So, so yes. if something required, uh, if I given that. So there is a, you know, SAP uh, provided one, uh, like, you know, one form. So there the people will answer like this, you know, mm. uh, if you ask something, they will say something there. Yes. So people will, you know, confuse there. 
so what i yeah. need to configure here he is saying something someone will come into the picture and he will say you know something so then you know four people will come the four people will say you know say something mm -hmm. so then you know uh, you know you no know, learners will confuse there so what i need to who is saying correct so this be yeah. this x is correct or a correct or c a correct yes so people will confuse yeah, right you know mostly people will not say correct things you know <laughs> i know that okay any other things to discuss no well then as i am okay with 8 to 9 others are okay it is fine because in the morning it is not possible okay with 8 to 9 you can you take more than that also uh if subject demands <laughs> then i think if we learn more than one hour also i think we will forget i mean bura yes, like yes, yes. <laughs> yes 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 so i i i know that i know that uh, that's what i know based on the age groups also will be depends on that yeah <laughs> you are right <laughs> so i am a purely hr guy more than a, to be frank yeah i am a purely hr guy you know that <laughs> <laughs> so hrd is also one of the my uh, subject yeah then you are reading our minds yes yes so actually you know uh, couple of years i nearly i you know 8 to 10 years uh, you know i have taken lot of classes for sap hr after that i stopped and uh, recently i have uh, started with subbu only subbu has encouraged me you know sir uh, you know you start uh, again for uh, training batches <laughs> okay so that's the thing. would you like to share the ppts Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, please. And we PPTs shared about and, the ladies uh, to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, PPTs and uh, you know whatever the you know uh, data with me, mm. Uh, mm. I'll share that. Yeah. Yeah, please. Sure, and regarding sure, sure. also every day so after the that, class. One thing. One thing. One thing. I'll not uh, share immediately. Once you know topic is over, then only mm. I will share. so otherwise what happens you read that you read that you know whatever i have sent the documents you will come with the questions okay sure okay so you know no, no. Every, there, uh, every day after the class you please share whatever you completed or covered yes 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 so one one module is over then i send the that module uh, document to you yeah okay okay yeah okay so in module there are uh, sub topics right so yes. topic as you know i have you know maintain the documents like uh, module wise okay mm -hmm. so module wise i will send to you the documents like, and uh, you know you you read that and by the time you will uh, you know sub topics also you will practice in a system then uh, you know once i uh, send the document you go for the revisions and uh, have any doubts come with me doubt you know come up the doubts and uh, uh in the configurations wherever you have stuck and we'll discuss and uh, the mostly what are the common errors where you are doing the mistakes and what is the you know uh, the errors if you have any uh, serious errors then how to deal with that i will discuss on that yeah okay so those are all i think you three people are friends um no. madhavi vaishali and lakshmi no actually i know vishali okay i have come i know vishali <laughs> oh is so <laughs> vishali is common But, friend yeah. 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 No, i have come to know lakshmi actually <laughs> <laughs> okay. so for uh, mbhr uh, you know have uh, some background then you you have to you know i think vaishali is mbhr right yeah, she is mbhr yeah yeah, yeah. and so in lakshmi... information technology also in mba oh okay okay uh, lakshmi you also mbhr yes 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 so then i think madhavi you know you have to you know learn more things from there if you yeah. have functionally if any i know uh, have any doubts you, i can explain you but if you have more doubts okay will help to you yes definitely thank you okay and radhika can you explain about yourself please radhika 
I think she's mute. Okay. So any doubts? Anything about uh, As of uh, no, modules? Or... <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'll try to. Yeah. Ah, Radhika. Ah, hi. Hi to all, sir. <laughs> hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> so I am. <laughs> so the chala years gap tarvata ne no interest show bichha no. Okay, Andy. So I 93 passed out degree. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. So actually, my daughter MBA HR complete chase in Okay. Okay. Uh, so now I am I am interested. <laughs> Okay, not your daughter. <laughs> not, so, not my daughter, first me. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, so, Sai sir, Chepparu, uh, Tlagani. Okay. So, okay. And to me, daughter, Kosanka, the MBH, Tanches in the Tanches in the Actually, I want to build up my career. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sure. So okay, thank you to all. Thank you for patience. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I think thank tomorrow you. eight o'clock we will meet. Night eight o'clock. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow eight yes. o'clock. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank Anything you. If it's not possible for you, please let us know. Okay. Uh, for me. So I am tomorrow is yeah, working yeah. day, right? I'll uh, you know yeah. I'll ready for eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Saturdays and Sundays <laughs> sometimes it will be difficult, but. Uh, 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 so if day, you continue uh, regularly, na, any any uh, emergency day we can uh, we can postpone or something we can do in the weekends. Yes, yes, yes. According yes. to your timings and uh, um, yeah. most of the candidate timings, okay. Yes, more uh, in a weekend we mostly will go uh, before five o'clock only. Yeah. Okay. So in the evening, if we have any work, you know, so we're all family yeah. members. Yeah. So <laughs> and that's why, that's why and if it is possible to everyone, we can continue by 10 to 11. So if it okay. extends also half an hour like that, yeah. uh, so yes. we can we can plan after the class as well. So if we plan on the evening, the day will kill. Yes, 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 yes. That's what that's what. So Saturday, Sundays will have a 10 to 11. Uh, mm. If extend 11:30 or 12, okay. Sometimes yes, if uh, okay, mm. but uh, uh, every day we'll uh, start with the evening 8 to 9. So by yes. 9, I will try nine. to close. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Don't put a time limit. Yeah. If you have any doubts, we can continue. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. depends yeah. on you. That's what I'm yeah. telling. That's you know, I can go for 9. To nine. <laughs> it depends on the subject uh, topic is not yes. completed. He will extend 5 to 10 minutes like that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we leave for the day? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. Bye.